I, I think that people are not used to observe and they just see things, but they don't pay attention to things. Alfonso teaches students all around the world, and at the end of a long day, I grabbed him and picked his brains. There were lessons in this interview for anyone in the miniature painting game. So without further ado, let me introduce. My name is Alfonso Giraldes, AKA Banshee. And say welcome to Rising 8 Minis. My name is James. Let's talk about inspiration. What inspires me the most is probably my, my son. Often what inspires us is what means most to us. That's what we fall back on when everything else runs out. Um, I'm not in a, in a very inspirational mood right now, to be honest. I'm a little bit too tired, maybe because I've been traveling for so long teaching. Obviously, you know, I have like many things that I like related with fantasy worlds and science fiction that have inspired me all my life. Books, movies, um, things like that. But yeah, nature, you know, I, I think that I find the inspiration almost everywhere when I, when I am in that mood, you know. Uh, but recently, I've not been inspired by many things, to be honest, apart from my, my son, which I think the, he drains all my energies. And that's why he is the main inspiration. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I just want to say a huge thank you to Banshee for doing this. At this point, he's been teaching, socializing and painting for over 48 hours, so he's absolutely knackered. But he wanted to give his time to share his passion. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Next, I asked him, after all his acclaim and awards, what does success look like now? I, I guess that I get I guess that success would be in the future to be able to deal with the stress better, uh, not be that much concerned about how my workmates perceive me, because I I receive a lot of love and hate <laughs> almost equally. Um, but the, to be honest, I mean, most of the people, they, they treat me really, really well. I think that this is already a success, you know, like when I travel a lot around the world and I go any, like, I don't know, to Canada or the US or Turkey or Germany or whatever, and I find many people that are excited and are waiting for the class and are waiting to meet me and share some, some thoughts or some conversations. This is, this is wonderful. And that's something that I never thought I will feel myself, that this came naturally with, my, with the time, with my work and with my passion and how I behave, being 100% myself and not hiding myself at any time. This, this caused me a lot of troubles during my career, but also it caused me a lot of um, joys and, and brings me a lot of good energy as well. And I know that there are many people that appreciate me. I think that this is success already, but of course then having a sustainable financial situation, which is something that I am doing right now, but you know, I'm, I'm still not very used to it because I've been fighting for such a long time that you're always in doubt. You know, you're always, exactly. It's like, you never know when it will, be, will end. Maybe, maybe it ends, maybe it doesn't. Um, but I guess that success is being, being calm and happy with yourself and proud of what you do and how you do it and not having emotional depth with anybody. I don't know if this is something 100% possible, but definitely this is, my, this is my goal for the future. So there's a lot to unpack in that answer, but the two takeaways for me are that one, it's really important to find your tribe. Community is really important for your success in the future. And second, try to be content with yourself. In the end, it's not about awards and likes. It's about your own experience and those you share that experience with. Now, in just a minute, I ask Alfonso about some practical advice he has for miniature painters. But just before that, I asked him about an episode where recently he lost his mojo and how he got that back. I think that in every art field is very normal to have many ups and downs, you know, and especially when you have been working for such a long time in the same industry. So somehow I, I got tired of miniatures, which at the same time is one of the things I love the most. So this is like when you, when you have these downs in a, in a love relationship, you know, that suddenly it makes you feel empty, you know, and then to, to feel fulfilled again, uh, I guess that 
I don't know, I, it's maybe through my students and their workshops and the love and respect that I receive all over the world that maybe this is, this is what keeps me, keeps my chin up somehow, you know? And of course, I love painting and I love sculpting and I love designing, but I wish I could have more time to do it because, you know, I'm actually managing many things and the academy, um, it's a huge effort uh, and managing is not my best, <laughs> it's, not the be it's not my strength, let's say, you know, so I guess that when, when you feel in that way, the only thing that you have to do is to take some time to paint freely without boundaries, without limits and without uh, without being committed to a deadline and just do whatever you like. Now Alfonso is in the middle of a sold out world tour and people ask him this all the time. So I took the opportunity to ask him what he tells others when they're searching for inspiration. I, I think that people are not used to observe and they just see things, but they don't pay attention to things because most of the, most of the things that, we, that a, a teacher can teach most of the times is something logical that you can research by yourself, but you never pay attention to it. So yeah, people are a little bit lost in this regard because we belong to a community that has been driven through a hobby um, mindset where everything has been done through certain recipes and step by step and somehow I've been fighting against this for like 20 years uh, because I really think that the best way is to learn how to catch your own fish instead of like getting the fish from somebody else. So practice guys, just paint stuff. So that's, th those are like the, the, my personal goals and the goals of the Miniature Art Academy, you know, which is uh, teaching and showing the fundamentals and also showing every possible way to, to, to do your art so that finally each student can find his own way. Because that's the main issue. The main issue is that when somebody tells you how to do something, uh, this is how they do something. But there are multiple ways of doing anything. So the more ways you know, the bigger is your toolbox and the more chances you have to find your own way, which at the end is the most enjoyable thing about feeling as an artist, at least once, once a week or once in a while, you know, uh, feeling your creative being and, and being able to release yourself and, and to feel relief as well by, by doing what you love without having uh, preconceptions and, and, and pre-recipes told by anybody else, you know? So finding, finding your own way at the end is, the, is like the best advice. And then of course, uh, observing, you know, uh, enjoying what, what surrounds you, you know? It's like life is beautiful and, and it's full of amazing stuff that we don't even pay attention. It's like, you can see the leaves and it's so wonderful how many colors we can perceive, how many shapes and how everything is so harmonious, you know? And most of the times we don't even pay three seconds of attention, you know? So as long as somebody helps you to, to see that, people find more enjoyment, which is all about this art, you know, enjoying. And what advice do you give to people who want to be a better painter like you? Well, at the end, experience means everything. You know, it's like, I really, I believe in talent. Definitely there are people with more talent than others. That's, that's for sure. But you can reach to a certain very high level by practicing, observing, and being honest with yourself, which is something difficult nowadays with social media because we, we are all based on success. You know, it's like social media tell us that we have to have the best holidays, the, the, the best uh, super packed body, and the best beautiful husband or wife uh, next to us and to eat the best food. And that's not real life, you know? At the end, uh, real life is also accepting your limitations, uh, embracing them, you know, embracing your strengths as well, and pushing uh, your art in the way that you like. So when people tell me how easy it is for me, well, it's easy because first of all, I've, paint, I've painted for 20 years. Uh, second, of course, because I, I guess that I have talent as well, but talent without practice is nothing. That's something obvious that many people will tell you, but it's a, it's a fucking truth. And also, uh, is what I say, observing, learning from others, you know, 
uh, being able to get inspired by anybody else who does something different to you, not rejecting any other style. You know, I always propose people to try different styles, try different ways, because sometimes you don't know you like something until you try it. So it's like, to me, I always say the same, it's like uh, art is, is like masturbating, you know, it's a, it's a self pleasure, you know, and you have to find a way to enjoy it by yourself. It's not that I don't give a fuck, but I do it for myself, you know, and, and I take the decisions that please myself and that please my soul somehow. Honestly, the more I listen to that, the more inspired I am. I hope it's the same for you. If it is, you can show your love by liking and commenting on the video. But life isn't just about painting. So I asked Alfonso what brings him joy outside of the hobby. Atletico de Madrid, I think is the main thing. However, I don't feel it in the same way I did. Maybe because I, because the the kid um, now it's I mean now he's so important right now, and I, I I guess that for the future as well that everything else became less and less important. So I don't have to be honest I don't have many hobbies. You know it's like I love battle raps or rap battles. Uh, I love music. This is these things inspire me or let's say like drive my mood somehow um, and accompany me as well depending on how I feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing that I love the most of the, all the unimportant things is probably Atletico de Madrid because it's difficult to explain, I guess, that everybody feels the same with his team, but it's a different mindset. It's like, we are not, we are not the losers, but we are not the winners. We are always like the underdog somehow. And I love this, I love this feeling of being the underdog because that means fighting for what you wish that much. You know, I know I'm not, I never won the Champions League, but it's a, it's a dream. And I don't know if I will be, I don't know if I will be happier if I had 10 Champions League with, uh, in my, well, not, not in my cabinet, but you know, if my team have it. Um, so that constant uh, goal, and then when you fail, you stand up again, over and over again. I think that this is, a kind of mentality that fits very well with my personality. Now, if you're subscribed, you know that I ask every painter this question. So, Alfonso, do you lick your brush? No, well, I lick brushes when I want to make the, the tip very pointy, but I don't, I don't lick paint because I know it's not, it's not something very healthy. However, you know, I paint my hand constantly and, you know, I touch things that I shouldn't be touching, you know, because they are probably dangerous. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a constant uh, brush licker, let's say. <laughs> Thanks so much, Alfonso. If you want to see more of Alfonso's art, and you should, you can find Alfonso's links down in the description below. And you really should check out the Miniature Art Academy. It's full of thousands of hours from the best painters across the world. It's genuinely an incredible resource. So that's that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.